once you retire, you put your time in, you're totally dependent on what income you get out of that pension. So to take a 25% hit at 67, I mean, it's a no-brainer. How are you supposed to compensate for that? You can't. It's too late. I'm out now. I'm Christina Howard outside of the North Star Aerospace Facility in Milton. And the workers behind me, they aren't just milling about. They've actually taken over the plant. That's right. Production here has come to a complete standstill. It's been that way since 3.30 this morning. That's when members went into the plant. Some of them actually welded the doors shut. And they have been in there armed with coolers and rations, enough, as many people say, to get them through the weekend. It might seem like a big sacrifice, but it's the sacrifice that uniform members here say they are willing to make because what's at stake is their entire financial future. We know now, realistically, that they're not going to keep this place open. So we're after to have our pension fund funded properly, what it should be. And uh, we have people here for the long haul. That means nobody and nothing is getting in or out of this plant. And Unifor says it'll stay that way until North Star puts $6 million into the members' pension fund. That's the amount the union says it's underfunded. Our current retirees and our future retirees are going to have a 25% reduction in their penalty, uh, in their pensions. Think about it. A person's been retired now five, six, seven, eight years, and to have their pension reduced by 25% is ridiculous. Ultimately, we're not going anywhere until we find some solutions. And the solution, and the key issue here, of course, is what they're planning on doing to our current retirees. Completely unacceptable. The vice president of the company that acquired parts of North Star, that's Heligear, tells City News in a statement that Unifor bears responsibility for the current condition of the pension plan and illegal action to seize control of the Milton facility is a desperate attempt to shift responsibility through force. Now, this plant, again, is scheduled to close at the end of September. So since January up until then, about 200 people will be out of a job. Now, we've also reached out to Boeing, this this plant's largest customer. They haven't returned our calls yet, but their products were actually being manufactured here up until very early this morning. Now, the union tells us that they expect this issue will actually be heard at the Labour Board, something they hope will happen tomorrow, but could be put off until early next week. They say regardless, they're going to be staying here and they will not be leaving.